fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. It was his strength and courage, the daring with which he trailed and captured the worst outlaws on the frontier that brought peace and security to the honest settlers and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger... Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for San Pedro! It's going to be trouble! Hi, old Silver! Away! It was late at night. The lamp still glowed in the office of Sheriff Birch at San Pedro, the county seat of Seminole County. Two horsemen raced toward the office and drew their mounts to a clattering stop in the shadows, one side of the building. The sheriff's inside, Tonto. That's a deputy with him. Uh-huh. I'll soon get to the bottom of this. Stay with the horses. You can watch what happens from here. Don't show yourself unless you see I need help. Uh-huh. I'm to do it. What the? A crook. Don't reach for those guns. One move and I fire. Reach. Hit. That's the way you want it, Sheriff. You reach. What a draw. Golly. Just to be safe, Deputy, you can reach too. No. Take that coat from your holster and put it here on this desk. You. Hurry. Uh... That's better. Now you can take the Sheriff's two guns and put them beside it. Now, listen. You better do it, Fred. He's got the drop on us. Which I wouldn't have if you'd kept your hands from your guns as I ordered. There you are, Tall Cornya. That's better. Now we can talk. Now put these away. Sheriff, just why did you tell Sheriff Johnson when he came here from Brown County that you would neither arrest Sweeney nor pick him up for questioning? What's that to you? I'll ask the question, Sheriff. But I still... Are you afraid of Sweeney, Sheriff? Is he paying you not to bother him here in San Pedro? Or is there another reason for no, it? No, gun at all. Johnson never had no proof. And you refused to help him get proof. We know our duties. We didn't need Johnson to tell us. No, and we don't need no masked hombre to tell us either. Are you going to deny that you know Sweeney's a crook? Well, are you? That's something we don't call no man unless we got the evidence to back it up. Sheriff, one moment. I still want... Sweeney came to San Pedro about two years ago. And all that time, he's never lifted a hand to any kind of work. And yet... He has plenty of money to spend and lives in the finest house in town. That's no crime. And it didn't make you curious either, huh? We don't have to answer none of your questions. 
Sheriff, as certainly as I'm standing here, I believe that you know Sweeney's the head of a gang that's robbed and killed from one end of the state to the other. Oh, you know that, do you? I believe you know the strangers who come and go here in San Pedro visiting Sweeney are the actual members of that gang. Hmm. And I believe that if you would, you could jail the entire gang, including Sweeney, and rid this state once and for all of half the crimes committed in it. Believe a lot, don't you? Sheriff Johnson happens to be a friend of mine. He told me the way you treated him when he came here. The same way you've treated every complaining lawman who's come to San Pedro asking your cooperation. You don't like the way we do things, eh? He doesn't. Then you and kill I don't. him. Sheriff, I don't really think you're dishonest. Neither you nor your deputy. Would you like to hear what I do think? Go right ahead. We can't stop you. Sweeney is clever. He knows that he must have a base for operations where he can be free from interference in order to be successful. He knows that the cutthroats who do his bidding must have a place where they can come without danger of arrest when things get too hot for them. Mister, you hinted once before that maybe he was paying me. And I'm here to tell you right now that ain't so. No, but he hadn't had to pay you. He's done better than that. He's simply given his men orders never to commit a crime within the boundaries of your county. I think I know. Knowing that as long as he doesn't challenge you directly, you'll be afraid to go after him. You calling me a coward? No. If I did and you weren't, I'd be doing you an injustice. And if you are a coward, you know it without my telling you. Just what are you up to? I want the answer to just one question. Are you or aren't you going after Sweeney? Then I'll tell you just what I told Johnson when he was here. Any time there's a holdup, robbery, or killing in my county, I'll go after the fella that done it and bring him to justice. But what happens outside of my county ain't none of my business. That's answer enough. In other words, you'll do nothing. I know my job. Very well, Sheriff. You think you're not going after Sweeney. No doubt you'll believe what you've said, but you're mistaken. Yeah? Before the week's out, you'll jail Sweeney whether you want to or not. Well, I'm glad he's gone. The way he looked at me through that mask of his, I felt like about two plugged cents. What do we do? Go after him, Sheriff? <laughs> what for? Telling the truth? Huh? Oh, you know he did, Fred. What's the use of pretending? But doggone it, I don't know what we can do. Maybe if Sweeney hadn't made himself so blame popular around town... We could take a chance. Yeah. I'd sure hate to try it now. Sweeney's a skunk. And a sidewalk. Doggone it, he spends money around town like it was water. Stands treat for everybody. Makes out to be everybody's pie. Uh-huh. If we was to get rough with him and couldn't get a conviction... Folks would be so riled at us, they'd sweep us right out of office. Pronto. You couldn't make a one of them believe he's crooked. Never in a million years. I know. I've heard folks talking. <laughs> but, Fred. Yes, Sheriff? I'm kind of hoping that masked man keeps his word. Hello, Silver Hoy! <laughs> Steady. Did you hear what the sheriff said after I left him, Kimosabe? Uh-huh. It's exactly as I thought. He's not dishonest. He's just afraid to risk going after Sweeney and fail to pin anything on him. Not right. But we'll wake him up, Tonto. You understand just what you're to do? Um, he's savvy. I'll have to pretend I'm an outlaw. You will have to pretend you're out to get me. Hmm. As much will depend upon the way you play your part, Tonto, as upon the way I play mine. You not worry. Me do all right. Good. If we both succeed... What you think? Tonto, we'll turn this county upside down. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry. In spite of the late hour, San Pedro's Cafe was still open. And seated at a table in one corner with a hard-faced companion was Sweeney himself. The outlaw leader seemed to be a carefree, happy-go-lucky sort of a person. But his eyes at the moment were shrewd and calculating. And when he spoke, there was steel in his voice. I know you did all right with that hold-up at Vincent. But there should have been more money. You sure you're not holding out on me? You think I'd be that big a fool, boss? Well, I hope you're not. By this time, anyhow, you should learn what happens to anyone who tries to cross me. You bet I do. Very well. 
I'll overlook that detail this time. Now, you stay here in San Pedro for a week. You'll not be bothered. Birch doesn't dare touch us. No other sheriff has authority in this county. If the United States Marshal shows up, I'll see that you're warned in time to disappear. Right. And when you leave, I'll have orders for you to take to Scar and Blackie and the others. There's a bank at Wheaton I think Scar could handle. <laughs> Good. And I've learned just when the Silver City trains carry bullion. That'll be a job for Blackie. Boss, you sure plan things, don't you? Mm, naturally. I wish we'd met up ten years ago. If we had, Cutter, you'd be a rich man by now. You stay with me and you'll be rich soon anyhow. But try to leave. Huh? And you'll be dead. Like Tex or Slick. No need to threaten me. I know when I'm well off. Yeah, no doubt. It doesn't hurt to mention these things occasionally. We'll order another drink and then turn in. I'm leaving, too. All right, I'll see you. What, what the... A masked man! Go right inside! This is a hold-up. First man to go for his gun gets blasted. Oh, I... Quiet! Barkeep, open that safe. Here. Take that sack. Put the cash inside and hurry. Get that fella, Cutty. Yeah. No, you don't. I'm glad you're trying that. It'll be a lesson for the next man who tries the metal. Faster, Barkeep, get a move on. What? Come on, old fellow. Come on, boy. The engine almost got him. The hey, engine, thanks. You saved us a hold-up. Better luck next time, Redskin. You should have drilled him dead center. Me trail, fellow. Trailed him, you say? Uh, and one day, me get him. Sorry, Kimosabe. Aye. Oh, 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 I'm worked, Tato. Me do all right? You did splendidly. We've let them know we're on hand, Kimasabi. But we're just beginning. Come. Uh, get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come, Silver. Come, boy. This is a hold-up. Get back inside. Rain up there! Rain up! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, oh boy! If you're carrying money, hand it over. This is a hold-up. The following day, in the office of the sheriff, the lawman was saying goodbye to one of the hold-up victims. We're doing the best we can, Mr. Rupert. Back tomorrow, maybe we'll have them for you. Yeah, that makes ten of them. Ten in one day. Red one more and I'll go clean, loco. <laughs> Sheriff, sit down. Hey, with a wild man loose, making everybody else go wild? Nothing doing. I'm going to saddle up and get out of here. Even if I can't find that hombre, I'll get away from some of these folks telling about how they got held up. <laughs> go on, Sheriff, sit down. I think you've been overlooking something. Yeah. Yeah. What? Ain't this look kind of funny to you? Funny? You call it funny? (laughs) Sure. Now, wait a second. Just think back. First off, there's been all these holdups. But there ain't been one fella robbed. Hey, what do you... Well, doggone, Fred, you're right. Things was happening so fast, never had the chance to think of that. Something all the time spoiled it. First, that engine showed up at the cafe... Another time, that masked fellow's horse ran away with him. Another time, he opened a drawer and closed it again. Without seeing over $500 in bills inside. Yeah. I'm just wondering. Huh? Trying to put two and two together. Except at the cafe, he told everybody he held up that there wasn't no use setting the law on him. He had Sweeney on his side and couldn't nobody touch him. Yeah, they all told that. Now, we was visited by a masked man last night. You mean... He said he was going to get us after Sweeney, whether we wanted to or not. What? Why then? I got a notion they're one and the same, only I ain't going to tell nobody that. 
Let's just sit tight, Sheriff. <laughs> Let's see what happens next. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. Just before evening, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, who had rested during the day, settled their powerful stallions once more. Hurry, Tonto. Uh, you stand still, Scout. Well, there we are, Silver. That should hold. Tonto, the first half of our campaign is finished. Not right. It'll take more than my statement to those people last night to convince them that Sweeney's a crook. Uh, uh-huh. But at least we've made them think. Whatever they believe, they'll keep an eye on him. And you not fool Sheriff, though. I didn't expect to. He saw me, and he's heard the description of me from the men I held up. You must realize by this time that the hold-up man and the masked man who called on him are the same. Uh. But we also know he'd like to get Sweeney if it were safe. So there's not much danger he'll interfere. He's much more likely to suspect what we're up to and hope that it works. Uh, not what me think. The people of the district believe I'm an outlaw. <laughs> and they heard you say you were on my trail. They no doubt think I have a reward on my head. At any rate, things are shaping as we want them. Now to put the rest of our plan into effect. Be ready, Tonto. Be ready. Then let's go. Come on, Silver. Head him up, Scout. Come on, old fellow. Come on. Can you see inside the cafe from here, Tonto? Ah. Uh, is that Sweeney at the bar? Oh, that him. Looks like quite a crowd around him. Uh, 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 this is one uh, time I doubt that he's enjoying their attentions. Him, Tonto. We're riding to his home. Um, what do there? When he returns, we'll give the fellow one last warning. And after that... Mm, then what do? Then, Kimasabi, if he refuses our warning, nothing can save him. Uh, Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Sweeney, if that masked fellow ain't a friend of yours, why'd he say he was anyhow? What would he have to gain by it? Don't you even know who the hombre is, Sweeney? Sure looks funny to me. Seems well, to be alone, can't you? Well, keep let that drink go. I'm getting out of here. Now stand aside and let me throw. Oh, wait a second. Well, Sweeney, it just don't stand to reason that you don't know who the masked man is. I tell you. He ain't making all them claims for just no reason at all. If he's a friend of yours, you ought to know him. And if he's doing it to get you in bad, then he's an enemy. And you ought to know him just the same. I've yeah. told you all I can. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. What's the hurry? Goodbye. I'll let go out of my way. What do you follow me outside for? Didn't I tell you I have anything more to say? Well, just one more thing, Sweeney. Now, Clem Riley says... That begins you... with what you or Clem or anybody says. Well, I uh, thought that you and uh, Clem was... And all I care, you can think what you want. Now get back or get trampled. Get up there, get up. Hey, watch where you're going. What are you getting so high and mighty about all of a sudden? You afraid to answer questions? Well, fellas, I don't know. Looks mighty strange. Maybe Sweeney ain't got anything to do with that masked gent. But if he ain't, what's he getting so mad for? Yeah. Early that evening, just as Cutter was lighting a lamp in the parlor of Sweeney's home, the door burst open and... Crazy idiots. Hey, what's the matter, boss? I just came from the cafe. Yeah? That masked man went loco last night. Told everybody he was getting protection from me. 
From me, can you figure that? He must have been crazy. And so's everybody in town. Huh? Boss, you don't mean they actually believed him, do you? Yeah, of course not. The way they asked questions, you'd think they did. They're the fools. Had I ever seen him before? Who was he? Where'd he come from? Where'd he go? How much money did he get last night? Who all was robbed? Yeah. If I hadn't got away, I'd have gone crazy, too. <laughs> Just the same, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Just the same, it's lucky you took the trouble to stand in with folks around here as good as you do. If you hadn't, well, there's no telling what might have come of this. Exactly. And I'd like to know who that masked hombre is myself. You think I wouldn't? Did you ever hear of anyone of his description, Cutter? You know any outlaw that rides a white horse like no. he is? No. Well, then who... The only fella I can think of that rides that kind of a critter can't be him, because he never held up anybody in his life. Who's that? The Lone Ranger. Uh... That you were going to say something sensible. It's not him. He's no crook. Ain't that what I just said? Somebody trying to get me in bed. Cutter, you listen here. Yeah? You'll have to get busy. Find our boys and tell them about this fella. Describe him. He must be still somewhere in this district. I want him found, and I want him brought here to me. Sure, I'll get him. What? An arrow? Yeah, somebody shot it at me. Came through the window over there. No, wait, boss. I don't think so. But it did. See here? Piece of paper wrapped around the shaft. Got writing on it. No, you weren't being shot at, boss. Somebody just aimed to send you a message. Yeah, give that here. What's it say? Uh, boss, what's it say? Well, I'll be... <laughs> Cutty, listen to this. Huh? Confess. Get out of town or end up behind bars before morning. <laughs> you ever hear such nonsense? Well, I'll be doggone. Confess or get out of town, huh? <laughs> I'll do neither, Cutter. And I make a little prophecy. The man who sent this will find himself in jail long before I will. The Lone Ranger and Tonto reigned in just before they reached the edge of town. Oh, oh that's the best. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Here's where we separate, Kimosabe. Uh, I'll strike in exactly 30 minutes. That gives you plenty of time. Find two of the men I held up last night. They'll go with you. They think you're trying to capture me. Oh, uh, Tonto, do it. Then on your way. You go in heap danger. You take care. Don't worry, Tonto. I'll come to no harm. Now hurry. Uh, get him up, Scout. Get him up. Get him up, Tonto. In the meantime, Sheriff Birch, who had pretended that he had followed the masked man's trail, returned to his office and... Stay there, boy. Any luck, Sheriff? <laughs> There's no more to look for. Well, that's what I thought. Come on inside. Yeah. He was right. Huh? Ain't no doubt of it. If that fellow really wanted to steal anything last night, he could have done it a dozen times over. Stage was carrying plenty of dust. Half the fellas he met up with had cash, but he never took a penny. <laughs> Which just goes to prove he never figured to. Right. Find out anything else? Nope, I didn't pick up his trail. <laughs> Maybe that was because I never looked for it. I feel about this like you do. He's got some scheme in mind. It's a scheme that ain't going to do Sweeney any good. And if it works, more power to him. We never dared do anything. But if he can, well, that's just fine. Kino. And I've got a right good hunch it won't be long before we hear from that hombre again. Things are due to happen. And if they do... Happen? You... They're happening, hear that? What the... Come on! Hey, wait. Hey, what's going on? Who's shooting? What's the trouble about? Sheriff. Hey, Sheriff. What's up? The masked man. It's the masked man again. What's that? Didn't I tell you? He tried to hold up the cafe again, but got run off. The boys are after him. They've got the trails cut off so he can't get out of town. Which way to go? Towards Sweeney's place. Eh? Come on, we've got to round him up. I'm on my way. Come on, Fred. Forget your horse and make tracks. A few minutes later, Sweeney and Cutter noticed the sound of the mob as it gradually drew closer. You hear that, Cutter? What do you suppose it is? Well, golly, from the noise being made, you think it was a lynching bee. 
Let's have a look. I'll open the window. It's coming this way. Better look out front, boss. Wasn't that a horse just stopped out there? Uh, who cares? I want to know who that mob's yelling for. You hear that shooting? Uh-huh. Maybe it's what? A masked man. Hey, no way. You've got to give me protection. They're after me. The escape's cut off. Find me a place to hide. Go out there and send them away. Do what you want. Let's see that they don't get me. What do you think? You've I... given protection to plenty of other outlaws. Sweeney, now give it to me. Get out of here, or I'll... Are you afraid now, Sweeney? You give protection only when you know it's safe. Hey, look here, fellas. Keep out of this. Got... This is between me and Sweeney. You hear them coming? They'll be here any moment. Sweeney, what are you going to do? If you don't get out of here, I'll blow your head off. Listen. Everybody went. Sweeney, all right. They're all in it together. Go on, inside, after us. Hear that? You brought them here on purpose. Boss, it was a trick to tie us in with him. Get back there. Get back before they open fire. Stop right where you are. Hold up, fellas. He's got us covered. This fool's you, Sweeney, just like he claims. If he wasn't, why would he come running here? Come on, rush him. Grab him. No, no, wait, man. He's no friend of mine. He's not working for me. Don't give us that, Sweeney. I always figured you was a crook, Sweeney, and this proves it. The game's up, Sweeney. The masked fellow wouldn't never have come here if he hadn't had a good reason. No, no, wait. Man, it's a trick. Don't listen to him after him. You don't get me. Shut up the lamp. I can't see. Where's he gone to? Hey, don't nobody fire. You might hit one of us. There he goes through the window. He got away. Then watch out, Sweeney. Other gent don't follow. Somebody light another lamp. Let's get some light in here. Here's the lamp. Yeah, get it lit. Run for it, Cutter. There they are, Sheriff. Follow me. Anybody tries to stop us and I'll let him have it. No stand still. Who fired them shots? They came from outside. And there goes the masked man. You going after him, Sheriff? Yeah, I reckon that. Reckon we'll make out in the fellas we've got right here. Bring him over, deputy. Get along with you. Yeah, this is a frame-up, Sheriff. You've got nothing on me. The masked man... Sweeney, that masked man fixed things fine, whether he tried to or not. What? I've wanted to jail you for a good long time. Never could afford, because folks were so certain sure you was all right. But now they ain't. Now they suspicion you plenty. Maybe I ain't got anything on you yet, but... They ain't going to kick any at all if I throw you in jail. No, 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 wait. And when you're listen. there, I'm writing to every lawman in the state that come here for asking me questions. No, you sir. can't. I'm going to tell them I'm holding you. No, you can't I'm going to tell them they're welcome to come and bring any evidence they can right along with Why, them. Why, you... <laughs> and if that don't turn up enough to get you put away long enough to spoil, then here's my Stetson. I'll eat it. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.